guys, I am Average Joe and welcome along to my new FM save, Febre Amarela, where I'll be playing Club Deportivo de Tondela, or as I'll just be calling them Tondela. And right off the bat here, I should apologize to any Portuguese speaking people, uh, anybody that's listening or watching this uh, video. Um, I do apologize, I'm probably going to butcher the, the living daylights out of any uh, pronunciations to do with um, the club and the players. Um, I am trying to to, uh, to learn how to say things, but uh, without that much knowledge, um, I don't have a, a background in Spanish or Portuguese or anything like that. So if I do butcher the names, please forgive me. If you want to leave a comment and let me know how the, to, to correctly uh, pronounce things, um, that would be greatly appreciated. They're currently playing in Segunda Liga, or the second league in, in Portugal. And my aim will be to take them uh, from the second league, get them promoted and win the Premier, Primera Liga and displacing Benfica, Porto and Sporting as one of the top clubs in Portugal. Then after that, the ultimate competition to win the Champions League. So why did I decide to choose Tondela? Well, after looking at various leagues throughout Europe, I decided on Portugal and then after looking at various teams within Portugal, um, I chose Tondela because they have a great backstory. Like, their, uh, their promotion through the leagues or relegation out of the leagues into the regional divisions, back into the league again, uh, consolidating their players, uh, consolidating their position in the leagues, um, signing older players, experienced players, getting uh, good quality players, and progressing and then actually getting promoted into the third division. And then they got a promotion, I think a second promotion or third promotion in eight years um, back into the Segunda Liga. And they're definitely, the club, like I say, just the whole uh, financial aspect of the club is, is good. They're going in the right direction. Um, they're signing the right players. They want to keep uh, managers and players long term. And their fan base uh, is, go is definitely uh, strong and supportive as well. And uh, their group of supporters are known as Febre Amarela, which actually means uh, yellow fever. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this save. Um, I hope you are as well. Please leave a like if you are. All right, so that's enough reasoning why we're taking control of this club. Let's get over and have a look at the club itself. So here you see we just taken uh, control of Tondela. <clears throat> and let's get straight in and have a look at the squad. Uh, we're going to sort them by ability. We'll see who is going to be in the uh, current first team squad. So the best player uh, is Nuno Santos. He's a... Uh, Left midfielder, but can play all up and down the left-hand side. Uh, a good key player. He is 34, though, so I don't know how much time he's got left, but he's uh, far better than anyone else we've got in the team on the left-hand side. And he actually has the best potential as well. He's the uh, number one player at the club. Uh, Toze Mareko, or Mer Mareki, yeah, we'll go with Mareko. We'll call him Toze. Um, he's our best striker at the club. Uh, finishing of 12, you know, he's, he's not too bad. He, he's a pretty good striker um, for this division. Uh, 26, so we've got a few years out of him. Claudio Ramos. Um, he's only 22, but he is a lot better than our backup keeper, uh, Rui Nuru. But we'll get to him in a, in a second. Um, yeah, his, you know, for this division, like I keep saying or will be saying, most of these players, I don't know what you would class the second league in uh, Portugal, maybe probably League 2 um, or League 1, maybe probably League 2 in uh, England standards. Fabio Pajijo, uh, he is another, uh, he's the, uh, he's, he's kind of one of their key players. Um, good, uh, you know, for this division, good marking, good tackling, Good off the ball and positioning, pretty good um, passing, good fitness as well. So he's a he's a pretty all round player. Andre Cavales, he is our uh, best attacking mid uh, right winger. So we're going to be using him a lot down the right, depending on which format or formation I'm going with. I'm not sure if I'm going to be going with a four four two or a four four two diamond type uh, formation yet. But he will be uh, definitely on the right-hand side. And he can also play up top. And he can play on the left as well. So a lot of a lot of the wingers that we have can play on the left and right. So I might utilize um, swap positions. 
with these um, with these tactics. Davison is our top uh, central defender. A uh, great way of of spelling Davison there. D E Y V I S O M or B I S O N, not Vision. Davison. Twelve for heading, twelve for marking, twelve for tackling. Good teamwork. Average uh, physicals there. So he's our top center back. Uh, not too far behind. Or we've got uh, Amar. He's a uh, Bosnian, I believe. Playing in the center of the midfield. Uh, his passing is good. He's got fairly good determination, concentration, composure, uh, teamwork, and work rate. I would like to see him a bit better on marking and maybe his technique being a little bit higher, but we'll work on him for that. He's actually the second best attacking mid that we have. I believe he's he's actually the second best uh, center mid as well. So depending on it, where we deploy uh, Pakiho, depends uh, will really depend on where Amar gets played. Pika is the other central defender. So we've got two central defenders quite high up in the ability. Um, top ability in the team, which is kind of good. I want to get a good center. And uh, uh, in the uh, description earlier, it said that um, the they, fit, they worked on their defense. So that's good. 12 for heading, 11 for marking. Tackling is only 10. Pretty good um, strength or uh, physicals. And he's 28, so he's uh, a good uh, experienced player. I'm not going to go through the whole team, but we'll get down here a little bit. Renato Santos is in on loan from Rio Ave. Good, um, good technical for a winger there. He's playing on the, well, he's actually the best right-sided midfielder we have. But again, he can play on uh, midfielder left, attacking right, and attacking left as well. So we're going to be using him in an, you know, they're all going to be uh, switching around and, and uh, playing, keeping the opposition uh, confused, hopefully. He's only 22, but he, like I say, he is on, in on loan. Pioyo, 29. Uh, he is a attacking midfielder on the left. I would like to see his technicals a little bit better for being utilized as a winger. And he can play up top as well. Although he's a third striker, a third choice striker. Marcio Souza is the best center midfielder we have attacking mid anyway he's got very good uh, technicals for this division pretty good mentals as well he's lacking a bit in the physical uh, he is 28 so I don't think we're going to be able to work on those anymore but um, he is our best attacking mid so it depends if we play that 4-4-2 diamond and he's going to slot right into there Pedro Arajo or Arejo uh, defender left side his marking's not great. His tackling's not great. Uh, so, but he does have. I'm. I think he's more of a a wing back as opposed or a fullback as opposed to like a a limited fullback. You're really going to send him forward, get him crossing in the ball. I'm not expecting too much defensive um, capabilities out of him. Tiago Barros, defensive midfielder, center mid. Again, now we're starting to get down the the table a little bit. These are. Um, kind of depth players that we're going to be using in and around the squad. They're going to be filling in uh, all around that central point. Ruben Saldana, he again, center mid or attacking mid, just average uh, um, attributes all over. So we're going to have to look to bring in some players on, on loan. Um, what I was going to show you right down here, Victor or Vitor Alves is the first choice right back that we have. So I think we're definitely going to have to strengthen the right back position. 12 for heading, uh, 11 for tackling, 9 for marking. Not too bad on the strength. Um, can play right or can play right across the back, right side, left side, center. So he will be cutting in or he I can envision using him as a center mid as well. or Sorry, center, central defender. But that will leave us, leave us open on the right-hand side. So I'll have to bring in somebody else for the right-hand side. Tactics. haven't set those up yet. But like I said, just having a quick look at the team. It's probably going to be a 4-4-2 or a 4-4-2 diamond. Or I might even play something like a 4-1-3-2 with the higher wingers. But we'll get to that in the, uh, the next episode. I don't want this one to run on too long. Uh, the board and the, the budget, we do have a £43,000 budget, or sorry, balance with a £26,000 projected uh, profit uh, over the season. 
zero transfer budget and only a 371 pound to spend on the wages right now i'm probably going to be looking to maybe renegotiate people's contracts to try and free up that wage a little bit and definitely going to be bringing in loan signings because we don't have any transfer uh, wage there staff is not too great just one or two uh, we don't even have any coaches we have a goalkeeping coach um three physios surprisingly i don't think uh the head physio um has four for physiotherapy now i don't know how teams in real life uh another physiotherapist with four and jose mendez four for physiotherapy so three physios with only four i'm going to be uh, probably dropping one or two of those at my peril only one scout as well and i bet he's not a very good scout three and three for ability and potential so probably the chief scout and a couple um physios are going to be let go to free up some wage and hopefully try and bring in a better scout and a better head physio just uh, so we can get you know some quality in the team the goalkeeping coach five for go coaching goalkeepers so he's going to have to be replaced i think uh, they do have a head of youth de development only 12 for working for with uh, youth, but again, three and three for ability and potential there. So I don't know how he's going to recognize a lot of uh, youth team coming through. My assistant manager, two star potential or two star assistant ma uh, manager. I think I'm going to leave him in place for now. I don't want to upset everybody and get everybody. I don't know how that will affect the team. Um, replacing all of the backroom staff. It does have a director of football as well again a one-star director of football i have played with director of footballs i don't know i might leave him in place i might just get rid of him just to free up the wage budget we'll see how that goes uh we'll go and look at the squad and the squad depth so it's not actually that bad it's just in the second line you know it's the depth of the squad that we really need to strengthen our, our first team looks pretty strong um, for this type of division it's just that if we do get any injuries we're going to need to definitely need to strengthen the right and, and left uh, defenders and maybe even the defensive mid I think we're, we will be okay for that because if we do get an injury to our defensive midfielders then we'll just you know have to we've got we've got an abundance of attacking mids so maybe we'll just have to play a bit more attacking so there you go guys, that's a quick overview of the club. Um, if I've missed anything, just leave me a, a, a comment and I'll make sure to add it in on the next episode. If you'd like, give me a big old thumbs up for uh, a new save. I'm excited about this one. I think we can do something with this team. I think we can actually, uh, it's a good division, a good league to be in, the Portuguese leagues. Uh, I think we can, uh, you know, once we get to the Primera Liga, we can really start challenging for those top three spots or maybe even top half of the table and hopefully, like I said, try and displace one of those top three teams in uh, Portugal. And if you do want to uh, watch other videos as well, I do have my Sir Alex Ferguson save going on. Uh, just feel free to subscribe to get both of these updates. And if you like to follow me on Twitter, it is at AverageJoeFM. All right, guys, we'll see you next time for the first game.